you guys know that I am not in the scoop business at all. I think scoop business is, is a folly. And uh, while I've, I've had some things that were big before, I, I've also been burned. I, I think back to when I said uh, that the Ant-Man was going to be uh, the pianist actor uh, from- Adrian Fred, Brody. Adrian, I always freeze on Adrian Brody's name. I, I had found out definitively Adrian Brody's going to be Ant-Man. Oh my God. And I reported it until the next day. I got an email from Edgar Wright saying, that's interesting. He's not. <laughs> uh, so, you know, I'm not, I don't really do scoops. So don't consider this a scoop, but I want to talk about something that's connected to the Bob Iger hiring yesterday. One of the questions that I had pop up numerous times over the past 24 hours about whether or not about the whole Bob Iger situation was. I had a lot of people write in and ask, now that Iger's back, do you think that means Kathy Kennedy's gone? And I, I had a lot of people write that to me on social media, in the comments, writing to me directly, asking about that. And my response to that was, well, no. If anything, it's the opposite. Bob Iger has traditionally been a Kathleen Kennedy ally. And with Bob Iger coming back, I have a feeling that will entrench her even more and she will probably stay out to the end of her contract. I, I mean, you know, I've said for a while, I don't think she lasts beyond the end of this new contract she's got. I think she's out either by or shortly after 2025. I think she's out. I do think she needs to move on. I've said that for a long time. But I said, I think Iger coming back only kind of more entrenches her there. All right. Sometimes I will say something on a show. And then, like in the case of Edgar Wright, I will get contacted by certain people in the know that would say to me, hey, you said this. Yeah, oh, it was a great show, but you're wrong. I will tell you this. Last night, in the last 14 hours, uh, last night I got an email from somebody very connected. And then this morning I got a phone call from somebody even more connected that uh, got in touch with me, two separate people completely independent of each other. That got a hold of me say, oh, John, you said that Kathleen Kennedy is going to be uh, more entrenched now that uh, Iger's. I'm like, yeah, you're wrong. This is what I have heard. I have heard that the decision to remove Kathy Kennedy has already been made. And that she will be gone either sometime before or very, very, very shortly thereafter the release of Indiana Jones 5. Which comes out when? In May? May or June or July? Something like that. Um, now... I want to be very, very clear here. I cannot independently say to you and confirm that this is a fact. Um, I will say that one of the two people that have contacted me has a thousand percent average on the things they've informed me of. They've informed me, they're the ones who have informed me of a couple of things that I've been, that I nailed and was right about. Uh, the other one, that usually is, has been correct, but not a hundred percent. So, uh, and I got to say this too. I hope this does not turn out to be true because that means I was right when I said that Bob Iyer was an ally of Kathy Kennedy and that it more entrenches her. But you know, here's the thing, you know, we, we take what information we have at hand and we base opinions and thoughts on what information we have. When new information gets introduced, intelligent people will reassess what their opinion is. And look, again, I am not telling you to write anything in stone, but I will tell you that I have, I have been contacted by a couple of people who are extremely, extremely close to the situation. And apparently, and, and I'll say, I, I trust enough that I'll say aloud that it looks like, and I believe it now looks like that I was incorrect yesterday when I said that she was more secure now than she was before with Iger back that apparently the decision for her to move on has in fact already been made. And now it's just a question of timing as to when they'll announce the, to the world. Rob, you and I were talking about this prior to the show starting. And, you know, one of the things that we discussed and that you brought up too, was that, you know, do you, if you are Disney and even if the decision has been made already, do you really want to make that announcement prior to Indiana Jones coming out. You've got some momentum going for Indiana Jones. Do you now want that? You want the topic of conversation to be Indiana Jones fives for which she is the executive producer. Do you want the conversation to be Indiana Jones? Or do you want the conversation to be of Kathy Kennedy leaving? So I don't know, but I, what I will tell everybody is that, yeah, expect to hear about her leaving uh, either imminently, because if you're going to do it before the release of Indiana Jones, if you're going to let people know about it before that, 
They got to do it quick because you're going to want to have some buffer between when you announce that and when Indiana Jones 5 comes out. Or they're going to wait until Indiana Jones 5 comes out, make some announcement later. But uh, again, what I am hearing is that the decision's been made. She's out. Whether or not that turns out to be 100% accurately true, we'll find out in the coming days. But anyway, Rob... Does this make sense to you? Does this line up for you? What are your thoughts on this? Well, it does. I, it does. It actually does make sense because one, she's been president of Lucasfilm for a decade now, and basically in the last couple of years, you got to give her a, a win in, in, because ever since 2019, you've got Mandalorian, you know, Disney Plus coming out. Whether you liked Obi Wan Kenobi or Book of Boba Fett, big numbers for Disney Plus. Uh, and or critically acclaimed Willow. We don't know, but it seems to be critically acclaimed. Looks good. And then the Indiana Jones franchise, the last Indiana Jones movie, I mean, the family, the the Kathleen Kennedy, Frank Marshall family, they're married. I mean, Frank Marshall, it was in Raiders, you know, so it's a long, to cap off her tenure at Lucasfilm, I don't see it as a referendum to get rid of her. I think it's a celebration of the time she was there and and that Indiana Jones got made. It, it it's, it's not just part of Kathleen Kennedy's life. It's part of Amblin. It's part of Lucasfilm. And I think it's a really great time to go because mm. no one can say she's not going to go we're going to replace her because she did a terrible job. She's one of the greatest producers. I mean, I was telling you just this morning, I was using ET to calibrate my sound system. She produced that. That was her first producing gig. That was 40 years ago. She produced our childhoods and this weird animosity that fanboys are blamed her for everything wrong with Star Wars. She's not a Star Wars fan. She's a movie producer. She's a nuts and bolts movie producer. I mean, she produced Seabiscuit. She's done a lot. I like Seabiscuit. I love Seabiscuit. And and um, I think going out, I would imagine they'll probably wait and they'll celebrate her. Indiana Jones 5, whatever it's called, is a celebration of her tenure at Lucasfilm, which was a decade. And if you're in your 60s, that's one sixth of your life you spent as president of Lucasfilm. I think I've always been a fan of hers. I've always defended her on the show. I've defended her on my own show. I'm a big fan. I think she's going to go out with a win and leave gracefully. I, I believe in giving credit where credit's due, right? And, and a lot of people forget the reason she's in this position is because George Lucas handpicked her to be in this. George Lucas is the one who put Kathy Kennedy in this position. So I, I need, people need to remember that. I have said for years now that she needs to move on. But that being said, I say that as somebody who is a big admirer of Kathleen Kennedy. Mm -hmm. uh, Spielberg has said that he believes she is the, the single most gifted producer he's ever worked with. That's the greatest filmmaker of all time saying that. She has had indisputably a number of big wins at Star Wars, like multiple billion dollar films, some big successful stuff on TV. She's had some big wins. For me, though, the, the juxtaposition of that is that she's had some major pitfalls. And that to me is the two most important jobs she had. One, planning out the overall structure what Star Wars is, which clearly they never had. They went into the sequel trilogy having no plan whatsoever. And secondly, making sure you bring on the right storytellers. And what we saw, especially in the first five years, is project after project after project after project of her having to separate with directors they had hired or writers they had brought on most infamously getting three quarters of the way through making a film with solo with lord miller only then to realize that they weren't on the same page and and so i thought she needs to go but in my opinion nonetheless she's a first ballot hall of famer in hollywood she's one of the greatest producers of all time and when she does leave she's going to get a big fat first look deal she will continue to pr produce movies Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video, DraftKings. DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL, should be your go-to when betting on the NFL this holiday season. With things like same-game parlays, easy and fast payouts, player props, and more. Right now, new customers can bet just $5 on any NFL team to win their game and get $150 in free bets if they do. And check this out. Right now, everyone can earn up to a 100% boost with DraftKings Stepped Up Same Game Parlays. Just go to the DraftKings Sportsbook app, place a same game parlay, and combine multiple bets like which team will win, player props, total points, and more. The more legs you add, the bigger 
the boost, the bigger your shot to win big. Personally, I like the Rams to pull off a big upset win over the Chiefs next weekend. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use the code CAMPIA. Place a $5 bet on any NFL team to win their game and get $150 in free bets if they do. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook with the code CAMPIA. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details. Anyway, Cliff, you hear about this. Does this surprise you? Maybe you don't buy into it. I don't know. What do you think? <sighs> okay. <laughs> Here we go. So, okay. Based on what both of you have already said, I have a, I, Kathleen Kennedy, fantastic producer, but there are two types of producers. There is a nuts and bolts producer who can get you 15,000 snakes in Tunisia on Tuesday. And there are creative producers who are fantastically just creative. And, and, and my problem with Kathleen Kennedy is she spent the bulk of her career next to the greatest director of all time. And I don't know how much of that muscle she really had to exercise. Like when you're sitting next to Steven Spielberg and he knows the movie in his head before he shot it, how much of that creative muscle memory do you have to create? And I think what we saw with Lucasfilm and her heading Lucasfilm was the atrophy of that muscle memory, was, was her not being able to identify certain talents or not being able to identify creative problems when she saw them, but being able to handle the physical production part of it. And so when something happens, you replace the director, you do this, or you do the, you know. So I think that her, the, the biggest issue, and the reason why I think that she probably does need to go, it's not whether or not she's had a bunch of wins in the last five years, it is what has happened to the brand in the last couple of years. Right. And when you go online and and again I know it's all fanboys and it's and it's people that love to complain about stuff, but the reality is when when you talk to people there is not an enthusiasm for Star Wars the way there should be. There is not an enthusiasm for the brand the way that you would think with all these new movies, with the new series, with all these things, the fact that we're like, well, yeah, you made an Obi-Wan movie or an Obi-Wan show, but not great. Or you did a Boba Fett thing, but it didn't seem like it had a point. And you, you know, and there's this, this consistent lack of planning that goes into, we're just going to make a new thing. And the fact that the brand has now been damaged in a way where they kind of had to step back and go, okay, we're not going to make any more movies for a little while. Let's recalibrate. Let's figure out what we're going to do. That's not what you want to do. That's certainly not what Marvel has done. You know, Marvel is like, they might have a miss, but they push forward and then they kind of figure out what they're going to do. And, and so I think that her, her big miss in all of her hits is not being a fan of Star Wars, that she was not a fan of the thing that she was in charge of shepherding. And so when it came time to, to produce all this stuff, you didn't have somebody that was really standing there to protect it the way that maybe John Favreau does, or maybe Dave Filoni does, or, or some of the people that are actual fans of this stuff and know the, you know, they, they know the mythology, they know the characters, they know who Cad Bane is. So they know that the fans are gonna be excited when they see that character brought into live action, or they know that, you know. And so to me, that was really the misstep uh, of Kathleen Kennedy. And again, great producer, but a, but a very great nuts and bolts producer, one of the greatest producers of all time. But how many creative decisions did she make on ET? Probably not a lot. You know, she's sitting next to Spielberg and Spielberg knows this movie. So that's, that's where I feel like it's probably overdue. Now, whether or not this happens before Indiana Jones, I mean, we're still kind of in the, in like nothing's really happened with Indiana Jones. I mean, I'm assuming maybe well, a trailer. The Empire covers have come out. Yeah. The trailer's dropping any minute now. I mean, I would so. assume the trailer comes around Avatar time that they're going to, that they're going to use that to launch it. So, and you know, obviously Harrison Ford has a relationship with her and, and you know, you don't want to, you don't want to sully his experience going into this, but. 
But also, you know, Disney can't afford for something to go wrong with that brand either. All right, guys. Question is for you. What do you think about this? I, I have been told by sources that I trust. But hey, I, I've been told so stuff by sources before that I trust. It turns out to be 100% true. But sometimes it hasn't. So take this with a grain of salt. But I've been informed that the decision to remove Kathy Kennedy from Lucasfilm has already been made. Now it's just a matter of when they're going to publicly announce it, whether it's going to be before or just after Indy 5. What do you think about that? Do you believe that? Do you think the information that we have available to us lines up with that? Maybe you don't believe it at all. Maybe you think it needs to happen sooner or maybe you think it needs to happen later. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.